Tonight, Governor Godwin Obaseki taxed tertiary institutions on alternative sources of funding for sustainable development in sector. Catholic Women Organization prints terms on eliminating gender-based violence. Plus, correspondent texts a look on ways to promote mental health in children and adolescents. A very good evening to you and welcome to NTABN News at 7. I am Udra Kobong at Chibong. Governor Godwin Obaseki wants all tertiary institutions in the state to explore other sources of funding to help sustain development strides in the sector, promote and encourage inter-institutional cooperation and international linkages. Governor Obaseki, represented by his deputy, Philip Shaibu, was speaking at the third and fourth convocation ceremony of the Dostet Polytechnic, Hussein. Elizabeth Omoko reports that the wife of the governor, Betsy Obaseki, was awarded an honorary fellowship award. Governor Gordon Obaseki's effort in repositioning the Ose Poli, now convocating a total number of 680 students, commenced with the setting up of a panel to examine, amongst other things, the operations of the school since inception and make recommendations that will refocus and redirect it on the path to greatness by realizing its primary mandate as a technology-based institution. Having issued a white paper to give effect to the recommendations of the panel, government is now charging the institution to focus on teachings, researches, and community services, especially programs that will be relevant to the needs of the state and in gender development. Tertiary institution must promote and encourage scholarship, entrepreneurship, and produce skilled manpower relevant to the needs of the labor market. We also employ other sources of funding, such as endowment, grants, consultancy services, commercial ventures, and promotion, and encourage internal cooperation and international linkages. An honorary fellowship award was conferred on the wife of the governor, Betsy Obaseki. And the award of honorary fellowship presented to Her Excellency Mr. Betsy Obaseki in recognition of your role to put an end to gender based violence, discrimination of women and girls. The future of our country, the development of this great country will not happen without a dosti. Because if the heart fails, the whole body dies. The state government is determined to put in place a strong governance structure that will help drive policies that will better the loss of key players in the education system. In Benin, Elizabeth Omoko, NT News. And away from the state, Ekiti State Governor Dr. Kayo Defayemi is taking further steps to open up the state for socioeconomic growth through construction of roads. To this end, the governor has flagged off the construction of a 19-kilometer Ado Iwuroke Ifaki dual carriageway, which serves as link road between the state's capital and the northern part of the country. The Ado Woroko Ifaki Ekiti dual carriage road, which had been left uncompleted for years, serves as link to Kogi State. Governor Fayemi said the flag off of the construction of the 19 kilometers dual carriage road is to tackle the challenges motorists encounter on the road, which usually records increasing number of travelers from the south to the northern parts of the country. The governor said the construction, which was planned to be completed, within 10 months will fast track socio-economic growth of the state. The government believes that with quality roads, the socio-economic lives of the communities will be enhanced. The dualization of this road is in consonant with our pillar of infrastructure and industrial development. And in alignment with all the other roads that we have constructed to improve access to market and economic opportunity. 
the governor in his drive to build a modern and technologically vibrant environment for job creation also laid the foundation of the state knowledge zone, which will accommodate scientific research and training park, agriculture and business park, multi-logistics and industrial park, commercial and residential areas, and other facilities to positively transform the economy of the state. In Adwekiti, Tayo Osho, NTA News. And back in the state, another accident occurred at Ikoba Slope, Benin City. This time, three vehicles slid it into the ditch by the riverside. One of the victims said no life was lost, apart from individuals who sustained varying degrees of injuries and have been rushed to an undisclosed hospital for medical attention. Dennis Temple reports that this accident is the second or third occurring at Ikoba Hill Access in Benin City in the month of October. Alone. His report is here presented. As at the time of filing this report, only two vehicles said to be heavily loaded with passengers were seen at the scene of the accident. One of the vehicles, a salon car involved in the accident, was said to have been evacuated. The victims of the accident says the salon car hit the commuter bus that was heavily loaded with passengers, causing a reaction that saw the other two vehicles sliding into the ditch. Now, I enter the bus, I will come back for back. I will get to that place, but I want to be clear. Now they take bus and go to the ditch. What do you be the driver? No, I will not be the driver, I enter the bus. Okay. I enter the bus, I didn't pass that bus. I saw the accident. There are several times, I will be here and I rescue many people. Okay. Even when people fall into a pit, I will just rush down because I was caught there. Some individuals who were on rescue mission attributed the accident to the narrow nature of the bridge, urging government to create a barricade around the area in order to forestall future occurrence. I think I might feel too when I come to this, uh, this place. So very high go up. But here now, a slope. Understand? So now what have you talk, not be that one. Main government, I mean they make this side, make it different from the level of the express. It will go up. At least motorway fair break or anything will happen. You know, see itself for a side immediately. Something like iron go there or potato, we go hold like where they take the bridge. Meanwhile, individuals involved have been taken to an undisclosed hospital for medical attention while road safety officials took charge to restore order. This is about the third accident recorded in the month of October at Ikuba Slope Axis of Benin City. The role of women in eliminating gender-based violence dominated discussion at a seminar organized by the Catholic Women in Benin Ash Diocese Council. The chairperson of the event, Dame Esther Udehi, said the topic of the symposium is apt. Dennis Temple reports. The World Health Organization estimates that 35 percent of women worldwide have experienced physical and sexual partner violence or non-partner sexual violence. The cause of gender-based violence, it says, are substantial. It was also observed that violence against women and girls impedes their full participation in society, limits access to education and economic participation, and hinder efforts to achieve gender equality broadly. That is why these Catholic women in Benin Archdiocese gathered here at St. Paul's Manor Seminary to discuss the role of women in eliminating discrimination and gender-based violence. When the society is, uh, is uh, polluted as regards violence against women, now it is not just women but children, child. So the decay situation is very bad. And if we cannot amend our constitution, the country is likely going to another different. May don't may God not let that happen in our generation. Maybe because of the economic uh, situation we have in the country, women have become more vulnerable, very vulnerable. So that's why we want to talk about it, so that even mothers, because some mothers are even encourage their children. With the situation of things going on in Nigeria today, we need to eradicate and women need to put their heads together to make sure that this thing that is going on in respect of our children, the world, should be stopped. 
Participant drawn from among the women said, the workshop is timely and will equip them to be better models and shape their attitude towards their children. Gender violence means so many things to me. It means being beaten up by a stronger uh, species, things like rape, uh, genital mutilation, which we have been for quite some time I've been talking about. As mothers, it is our own duty to also ensure that our sons also share in chores and respect that women are also important in the society. The seminar provided a platform to launch the 19th edition of the Ash Dasisan Media Trist Magazine and the launching of the Multipurpose Hall. The event climaxed with the cotton of the anniversary cake and the cultural display. In Benin, Dennis Temple, NTA News. You're still watching NTA Benin News at 7. Just to let members of the public know that they can reach out to NTA Benin Newsroom on any breaking news or happenings in Edo State. The number to call is 0915-355-9648. Chats on WhatsApp can also be sent to the same number. Time for a break. The news continues shortly. Please stay tuned. This is not just a hotel, it's a resort, a place where luxury, class, and hospitality meets. It's not just four walls, it's a reinvention, it's an idea that relaxation should be brilliant. We offer world-class services that makes the experience unforgettable. Edo Heritage Hotel, you can't get it better. It's finally here! Yes, the one-stop shop for everything electronics. Benin City, let's jubilate. It's Uyi Technical Electronics Mall, 45 Adesawa Road, Benin City. Our unique shopping mall for authentic, high-quality electronics of major brands like LG, Samsung, Scanfrost, Nexus, Hisense, and more. Get quality, authentic brand products like refrigerators, side-by-side -side fridges, deep freezers, front and top load washing machines, gas cookers, air conditioners, OLED and other varieties of television, DVD pliers, home theater, standing fans, home appliances, generators of different brands and sizes. You name it, we've got it. Get the best bargain and authentic products at Uyi Technical Electronics Mall, 45 Adesua Road, opposite Winners Chapel by Ihama Junction, GRA Benin City. Uyi Technical Electronic Mall, everything electronics. We dare to stand out. For Santa Bini, I will better cut up for everybody. Waiting, your body to the heart. This one cool me for body. Oh, I will balance to travel to different place for Nigeria. Will you line your Chamodan office for a big way by Ebo Street Junction, Ring Road for Benin City? Don't make travel easy for chicken money for everybody. Benin to worry 1000 naira. Benin to protect 3500 naira. Benin to Lagos, my two Yanokwada, Iyaba, Aja for just 3500 naira. Benin to out here for my 1000. Enjoy a beautiful price to Bayasa, Abra, Kaugele, and other places, including. Comfortable chapter service to any destination. Muyi parcel service they give that to help you receive parcel and send parcel to different places for Nigeria. Come and enjoy Ogbele and Whoop Travel Prize with brand new buses and cars for Muyi Line New Ultra Modern Office for Ibiwe Street, Baebo Street Junction, Ring Road, Benin City. Muyi Line Cheap Travel Prize for everybody. Next time you visit the ancient city of Benin, two things will excite you. The warmth and welcome of its people, and of course, the class and style of its hospitality business. 
Brandeki Gold, home of hospitality like no other. Located in one of the most serene environments in the ancient city, truly classy and exquisite with world-class facilities. Fully equipped digital multipurpose hall with life-size ultra-high definition LED screen. 180 square meters king size swim pool with bubble bath enough to leave you breathless. The exotic Ariel's Bistro and Grill Restaurant with variety of continental dishes, especially some of the rarest delicacies you can find in town. Fact is, a visit will truly convince you that we are gold. Rendeki Gold is the gold wing of the prestigious Rendeki Royal Hotel at 6 Uhenry Street off Ihama and Boundary Roads, GRA Benin City, www.rendekihotels.com. Rendeki Gold, our hospitality is gold. Many friends are staying tuned now. Childhood and adolescence are critical stages in life. The extent to which this segment of the populace will go in achieving given goals will depend on their state of mental well-being. Correspondent in this report examines ways to promote and manage mental health in children and adolescents. When children and adolescents have a positive quality of life, can relate and function well at home, school, and the society at large. Their mental health is said to be in order. This suggests the important roles families can play to promote mental health among the set of people who are more vulnerable. It is important that their home environment is a good and a stable home environment so that they can be able to grow and to develop well. It is also important that they feed properly, a proper diet. This would ensure that their physical health is good. Then, allowing the child to be able to play, to go out to exercise, this helps to build um, resilience in them you know, so that they are able to develop. Even the, um, their body hormones are regulated well. Then, ensuring proper sleep and wake up time, especially when that time is well regulated. They have a time where they go to bed, they have a time where they wake up. Children and adolescents are exposed to many risk factors that challenge their mental health. Some of the identified risks are depression, trauma, neglect, abuses, violence, peer pressure, as well as substance use, which their consequences if left unattended to. Managing mental health of children and adolescents therefore requires a lot of effort, beginning with early detection. Dr. Ehi Isa is a child and adolescent psychiatrist. The first thing we will really do is to find out why is this child having this disorder at this time. Are there things that we can change in the environment? We find the background socially and are there things we can change? When we see that there are things that we can change, we change. Then I also advocate a lot that teachers, because most times teachers are the first people to detect and know that there's something wrong with this child. And then the parents too, they may know that, oh, I see that there's a change in the behavior of my child. So when we see any change in behavior, of a child or we see a change in their normal attitude look for a psychiatrist or a psychologist and find out what's wrong the medical advice is for all hands to be on deck for total well-being of both the young and the old in Benin Udwa now to COVID-19 update Nigeria records 182 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 and six deaths to the virus, according to the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, in their latest report. On the 28th of October, the 182 new cases are reported from 15 states, Taraba 38, Lagos 27, Samfara 25, Benue 21, FCT 17, Gombe 13, Kaduna and Plateau 12 cases each. Other states are Jigawa 5, Kano and River states, three cases each, while Abia and Edo have two cases each, and Bauchi and Bayelsa one each. 211,678 cases have been confirmed in Nigeria, 203,012 cases discharged, while 2,892 deaths have been recorded in the country. Time for another break. We'll be back shortly. Please stay.
ways, your brother. He's not here? He's not here? He's not here? I don't know where he is. Are you ready for the world's biggest breakdance competition? Enter Glow Battle of the Year Nigeria and win mega millions in prize money. Glow Battle of the Year Nigeria is here. <laughs> Oh, yes, eh. I'm Meosa Motosu. We don't turn that for we new branching for number 1282 Sapler Road by Ajib Junction for Bini City. Not be only that one, oh. We don't operate the price for Ninja Delta Roads. We need to worry by NRA Junction 500. We need to Abraka 700. We need to Ugeli 1000. We need to Bayasa 1500. We still the load from Bini to Potakoto. Worry to Auchi. Worry to Ekboma. We need to Ekun. Obiaroko. Kuale. Umutu. To even Ekpo Mato Potakot City <laughs> for Ame Osa Motos in safety of all our passengers. Now it be number one. That's now why we they make sure say we use new motors and qualified drivers. In. Make you visit any of our branches around you to enjoy the operation of Ame Osa Motos. Ame Osa Motos, King of the Road. Many thanks for staying tuned. Consumers of cooking gas are worried over the spate at which price of the commodity has skyrocketed in the past 13 years. The new price range indicates nearly 80% increase against 256 naira per kilogram or 3,200 naira for 12.5 kg recorded in the first quarter of this year. Oye Joseph Ifai has more. From Lagos to Imo, down to Asaba, Delta State, the cries and complaints remain the same over the skyrocketing price of cooking gas, with consumers calling on the government and relevant agencies to quickly nip the problem in the board to alleviate the hardship on the masses. The price of a kilogram is currently sold for 800 naira. This has also raised a situation of panic for domestic energy consumers in the nation, coupled with the attendant high cost of living. A 12 kg is going to 8,500 as of this week. Before it was 7,5, from 5,000 to 5,5, 5, 5, 5, 5 to 7,5. In fact, the experience is beyond what I can explain. The experience is bitter. 5 kg, what of 4,000 naira now? Why before we bought it at 2,8, 2,5? 3,000 from 3,000, 3, 4, 3, 5, now it's 4,000. It's increasing day by day. Indications arrive that marketers' inability to uptake 450,000 metric tons per annum of the product allocation is said to be responsible for the supply shortages. Local retailers are oblivious of the underlying reasons for this price hike. In Asaba, Onyinye, Joshua Ifai, NTA News. That's the news. Many thanks for watching. Good night.